I've created a 45 plant fog ponding cloner. I made a 19 plant fog ponding tower garden. I've built a fully aeroponic fog ponding garden cloner. I built my fog ponding propagation station for my desk and finally a DWC fog ponding garden or cloner in a five gallon bucket. All of these gardens I've built using the ultrasonic fogger. You can pick up one of these on the Zahn for 20 bucks for the full setup with the floater and the way they work is actually pretty cool. So the machine vibrates this small ceramic plate at such a high frequency that it actually causes the water particles to split apart from each other. And because the particles lose mass and weight as they split apart, eventually they break down to somewhere between three and five microns in size, which is small enough to become vapor. Heavier than air, but lighter than water. The vapor is a dense cloud of incredibly small water particles. Like if you were to walk through a cloud of three to five micron particles, you would choke. Think about ultrasonic fog as a moving mass, and the particle size is just too small to let anything in. So when your roots are directly in the mass, they're suffocating. There's no other way to say it. But don't worry, there are ways of getting oxygen to your roots, and that's what I'm about to go over now. So there are really only two different types of fog ponding gardens. There are many different variations of each, but there are two sort of blanket categories. There's the DWC or the cracky style fog ponding setup, which is where you take nutrient water and you float a fogger on top of it, and there you have it. Then there is the moving air style fog ponding setup. The idea behind that is you have two separate chambers. The bottom chamber houses the nutrients, the foggers, the fan that's blowing air in, and up through a tube into the other chamber that's housing the roots. Now there are benefits and drawbacks of each setup, but what we were talking about specifically was moving air into your garden. So with the five gallon DWC or cracky setup, with any garden using a fogger and standing water, you really can't have that fogger on for more than 15 minutes an hour. And that's because the vibrations heat the water through ultrasonic friction. And if your water gets above 85 degrees Fahrenheit, really funky stuff starts happening, mostly root rot. And we really don't want that. But this required 45 minute break is actually a great way to make sure that your roots are getting air. It's still gonna be humid and dank in there, so they're likely not gonna dry out, dry out. But if you do notice them starting to turn brown on the tips, then you can just add another fogger to the setup and keep an eye on the water temperature. I use this digital pH meter that has a built-in temperature. Uh, I'll link it up on Amazon, whatever you wanna use to, to check the temperature of your water, just make sure it doesn't go above 85 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, if you're interested in a more of a truly aeroponic approach, then you should look into the moving air fog ponic system or the MOFs. No. The principles with the moving air fog ponic system is to have a separate chamber on the bottom and a fan blowing fresh air inward and up through a tube uh, and into the second chamber that's housing the roots. So the benefits of doing a system like this are that you can leave the foggers running for a much longer period of time because you have fresh air moving in, cooling down the foggers, cooling down the water, and moving the warm air up and out of the system. So this means that it's going to clone and grow your plants faster. Because of this, you can add two foggers and you don't have to worry about your plants getting enough nutrients or too many nutrients because of the tiny little micron size. And because of that, you're gonna to start to see these beautifully hairy roots. I've only seen roots like this in a moving air fog ponic setup and a HPA or a high pressure aeroponic setup. So the downfall with the moving air setup is that you will have to let air escape. You can't move air through a vacuum. So I can't push air from the bottom to the top chamber. Well, I can one time and then it creates pressure. And these systems are not built for pressure. I mean, your fan will give out long before anything else starts to hold any kind of PSI. We want water to be moving through the top, over the roots and out. So what I recommend for this is instead of using the cloner pucks and tucking them in tightly, I put them in baskets, cut the bottom of the basket out, put them in baskets and then just set that in the cloner. This allows a little bit of a gap for the air to escape, but this also means that you really should never have a PPM over 650 for your nutrients, or your plants will get burnt from that air escaping. As a garden, if you wanna grow a plant from start to finish and see it fruit, I would recommend the DWC fog ponding setup. But in all honesty, full disclosure, I mean, doing a bubble ponic setup might work just as well, if not better, because you're constantly delivering fresh air to the setup through an air stone. 
Not to mention it has much less of a chance of failure and you're not gonna be heating the water up so you can let those bubbles run all the time. That's the really cool thing about hydroponics though is there are so many different systems with so many different variables and it's just creative people that wanna find different ways of growing things that invent these setups. So, so just remember that your only limitations are self-imposed. Let's keep growing. Thank you.